Good evening, welcome to the second of the episodes on how to build a data platform. This is the accompanying series to Oakland's guide to building a data platform, which you can download in the link that is in the description below this video. My name is MLG and today we are going to be talking about the slightly tricky subject of value in a data platform. Now I need you to stay with me, okay? Focus up because this is arguably the most important thing about a data platform. If you cannot demonstrate value in your data platform, then you're just making expensive pipelines that burn money. So you are going to have to justify your existence in one form or another if you are making a data platform. And what we're going to talk about today is how you do that. Now, I appreciate that much of this audience is technical and you're going to sit there and go, God damn it, MLG. I don't want to talk about value. This all sounds rather tedious. Isn't this for other people to work out? And the answer is no, it is not for other people to work out. It doesn't matter who you are. If you at some point touch a data platform, I need you to be able to articulate how that data platform brings value to your organization. Otherwise, we may as well all go home. Now, as we talked about in the last episode, there is no actual inherent ROI in building a data platform itself. The ROI and the value that you get from your data platform comes from the better decisions that that platform allows you to make. You are going to get more evidence. You are going to get more data about your organization. And as a result, what you are hoping is that you make better decisions as a result of that. So the actual infrastructure, and we're gonna get into that later in the course, okay? Don't worry about that. The actual thing that you make doesn't inherently bring value. The value comes a little bit down the line when you make better decisions. Now, this makes your life tricky when you measure that value. To start with, let's think about where this value actually comes from. What are we talking about when we say the word value? And to be brutally honest with you, what we're talking about at the end of the day is money. Organizations in general are in the business of saving or making money. And that's what they are interested in. So when you talk about the value that a process brings, you want to be able to associate actual dollars, pounds, cents and pence to it. Sometimes that might be expressed as time. You know, this saved us 400 full time equivalent days in some given process. But ultimately, that comes down to a bill that you don't have to pay and it comes down to money. And this is where the difficulty comes from. Because in another world, right, if we were in, say, like manufacturing, then value would be reasonably easy to articulate. So if you, if you make mobile phones, say, and you make a million mobile phones a year, and you come up with some kind of process that saves you a dollar on every mobile phone that you make, you can then come up with some kind of investment plan, right? We're going to save a million dollars a year. Absolutely fantastic, okay? So if it costs us $3 million to put this process in place, we only have to have that process in place for three years before, okay, easy money, we're rolling in it. The problem is that you can't point at a data platform and go, well, that exactly saves us X amount per year. But we intuitively know that having more evidence is better. If you know about something, you can make better decisions because of, the fact that you know about it. So how do we articulate that value? So I want to illustrate this with an example, okay? And it's a toy example. It's going to sound a little stupid, but I want to illustrate what I'm talking about. Because we are in the business of helping people make decisions. And our value comes from the fact that we help people make better decisions. And we use the data platform as a tool to help people make better decisions. Now, I want you to think about the decisions that you make on a day-to-day -day basis, okay? If you are watching this video, you are probably, my analytics tells me, some form of knowledge worker. And you will have to make decisions that bring your organization value on a day-to-day -day basis. And it doesn't matter what those are, okay? It might be to run advertising campaign A and not B. It might be to write code in this way and not that way. It might be to employ this person and not that one. It doesn't matter, okay? The value that you bring is in the decisions that you make. So let's pretend that you and I, me and you, we go into business and our business is very simple. And this is where the example is a little stupid, but let's just roll with it. We have a business that guesses 
the roll of a dice, a six-sided die. And if we guess it right, we get a dollar. But if we guess it wrong, nothing happens. OK, so so every time. So there's one roll of a dice a day, let's say. OK, and if we get it right, then we get a buck. But if we get it wrong, then nothing happens. And our data analyst comes to us and says, listen, um, I've come up with a, uh, an algorithm. I've been through all of the data and I've come up with an algorithm that actually I can tell you if it's going to be a four, five or a six with 75 percent certainty. Here's my question. How much should you pay that data analyst for that information? Now, obviously, that's a toy example, right? And if you churn through the numbers, if you churn through the, oh, I think I've just nerd sniped myself. If you churn through the numbers in that toy example, you can probably figure out it's eight cents. Okay, it doesn't matter, right? Listen, that doesn't help us here, okay? The decisions that you make on a day-to-day -day basis are infinitely more complicated than the example I just gave you. And also, it is basically not possible outside of a very select set of circumstances for your data analyst to show up and give you that degree of certainty about their uncertainty. Ask me about Bayesian stuff another time. Listen, it doesn't matter, okay? Life is complicated. Data platforms help us make decisions. But because life is complicated, we need to come up with a better way of articulating the value. So you have two choices. You can work anecdotally or you can try and approximate. Working anecdotally is easier and probably where you should start, but approximating it and doing some actual research is more rigorous and gives you a better answer. When you work anecdotally, you just ask people what they would get out of a data platform, all right? It is intuitively obvious to you and also I that if a data platform brings you knowledge of things that you didn't know about beforehand, then that's obviously bringing value. If you have a demand from higher up for some KPIs or some insight that is not possible without a data platform, then anecdotally and intuitively, that data platform is going to bring value. What's very difficult there is to put an actual like pounds and pence number on that value because you've only got an anecdote to lean back on. But what you do know is that whatever your business process is, like whatever you are in the business of doing, you now have an increased visibility of that. And you can start to talk about things like we have a central source of truth. We have centralized analytics. We have data that everyone can agree on. We have a place where our analysts and the people who that previously were making up their own versions of truth in Excel we have one place where they can do all of their data analysis, and now we can all look at that and all have visibility of it. This is great, but it's still just an anecdote. So in order to approximate the actual value, what I want you to do is turn the problem statement on its head. Rather than sitting here and doing, well, that, which is not possible in the real world, okay? Ignore that, doesn't matter. But what you do is you go around to people and you genuinely ask them, like BA did with Concord ticket pricing, just ask people what they value their data at. Go around to the different departments you have in your organization and ask them, what is the value of the decisions that you could make with a data platform? How much of your budget would you be willing to fork over to us to build you a data platform that would go in line with the data that the rest of the company has. And you look at all of the business users who would have an interaction with your data platform and you genuinely ask them what it means to them. Some places even go further than that actually and actually do that thing if you implement the data mesh architecture, which we shall talk about later on. But if you implement that data mesh architecture, you will find that actually what they really want you to do is to take portions of the budgets of each of the individual parts of your business and genuinely fork them over to the data department. And that's how the data department gets funded from that decentralized budget allocation. And there's this whole mechanism by which value gets allocated around the organization based on the decisions that get made. <gasps> Look, that is a tale for another time. What I'm telling you, though, is that you need to be fully seized of the value in your data platform before you start and go ahead and build one, because it is easily the most important component of 
the data platform that you are going to build is that articulation of value. Because what you really don't want to do is build a whole load of infrastructure, spec a whole load of cloud costs, write a whole load of SQL, make many pipelines, move a lot of data around, and then have people go, yeah, but I can do that in Excel. We're going to hold this here because I've easily talked about value for enough time now. Next time to accompany the guide, which you can download in the comments, we are going to talk about solution architecture and some of the trade-offs that you have to make when you are designing a data platform. However, for now, my name has been MLG. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, but most importantly, you go to the link in the comments and you download yourself the data platform guide.